As you may or may not know, I am sitting with John Bush of Austin, Texas, and John is a contractor for the Dash Network. And will you tell us what it is in particular that your current treasury proposal aims to do, John? Well, it's called Dash to Adoption, and the goal is to recruit 100 new businesses that accept Dash. Okay. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Yeah, that is, the title tells us almost everything we need to know. Yeah. All right, so uh, since I'm here in town, I was so keen to get like a, like a report from you on how it's going. And mm -hmm. so the first thing I want to know is, um, how, how have you decided who to reach out to? Like, do you go to the stores next door? Or like, what's been your strategy in determining where to go first? Sure. Well, the first uh, phase was the low-hanging fruit, so I reached out to friends and family, fellow uh, liberty activists and the crypto community, and uh, managed to recruit a handful of people there. And what I'm currently doing is working with my virtual assistant to compile contact information of businesses that accept Bitcoin. There's a website, spendbitcoin.com, that has like 9,500 listings, and I'm paying my virtual assistant in India six bucks an hour to go through and scour all of them. And I'm uh, emailing them, and the virtual assistant is putting a uh, pre-canned message into a contact form, and then whoever responds uh, in any type of warm way, I'll engage them on a more personal level. Um, so that's, that's how I hope to reach the the 100. Another thing that I'm going to do is reach out to businesses here in Austin and then if need be go after uh, the cannabis industry in Colorado. And then one other thing, I uh, also did the same thing. I found a massive list of VPNs mm -hmm. that had like 65 or 75 VPNs. So I worked with my virtual assistant to get all the contact information for them and then I send them a personalized message explaining uh, about Dash's uh, privacy uh, functionality and tied it hand in hand. Your customers are obviously value their privacy, so here's a cryptocurrency that would enable them to pay in a private fashion. Okay. So if someone does express interest, they say, okay, we're willing to give that a go at our business. What do you do to get them set up? What is that mm -hmm. process? So I first inquire about their existing point of sale and the existing system and they give me some feedback on what it is and ideally they use a plug-in or a merchant processor that interfaces with coin payments. I think it's coinpayments.net. Yeah. That so far is the most popular and simple way for business to accept Dash. If it doesn't integrate uh, directly with the plugin, which of course enables you to incorporate it into your existing system. When you sell something, the inventory goes down, it tracks your overall sales. Uh, at this point, there's a little bit of uh, hacking that needs to take place, um, or some people need to do it manually, so to speak, which is what I do here at Brave New Books. We have Shopify, which is one of the more popular ones. And I heard from a little bird actually that they're working on developing a Shopify Dash plugin, which would be phenomenal. But the way that it works for me is someone goes in and whenever it comes time to payment, uh, choose the payment, they could select card, PayPal, Bitcoin, which uses BitPay, it is integrated automatically, or they select Dash. And when someone selects Dash, they then get a response that says, a uh, person from Brave New Books will contact you shortly with an invoice. And then I manually email them an invoice saying, uh, please send uh, $12 worth of Dash within the next 24 hours to complete your purchase. So it's kind of tedious. Um, there aren't a whole lot of people that are spending their Dash, so it's not overwhelming. And I assume when there are enough people that are spending their Dash, uh, there'll be more of a demand for these plugins and stuff to come about. But mm -hmm. uh, we're, some, of the, some of the critiques or the concerns before I embarked on this um, endeavor was that it's kind of like a chicken and the egg scenario. People right. are like, well, we don't have enough plugins and we don't have the merchant options there, so you shouldn't do this. And my position is, well, let's go ahead and get, let's demonstrate that there's a need for this. Let's get people using it already so we can create the demand, which will in turn lead to more development. And of course, you know, evolution's coming out in 2017. I think when that happens, it'll be a lot easier. Right. But I wanted to just go ahead and plow forward with it. The infrastructure isn't 
completely there to where there's some difficulties, but thankfully the core team has been very helpful. So uh, there's a VPN service that's interested in setting it up and they wanted to see how it would work with their API. So someone from the core team is helping them with more of the technical aspects. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I have to say, I think your approach, uh, the plowing in potentially, like as some people said, this they thought this was too early. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I resonate with that mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in that this YouTube channel, like I wondered when I started thinking about it, is it, is it too early? Is there enough to talk about Dash every <laughs> single week? Maybe yeah. some people, had I asked them, had I cared about the opinions of others, they probably would have said no. Even with the daily decrypt, I had people mm -hmm. be like, how could you talk about cr cryptocurrency every single day? Yeah. Certainly you run out of things to talk about. And so I, I think, I, I respect your approach to saying, no, let's get out there and, and see what needs to be done and yeah. what can be done. Uh, so how many merchants would you say you've like completed of the hundred thus far? There's 15 merchants that are officially signed up, and I have 15 others that are interested and in wanting to move forward, and we're in the process of helping them formulate exactly how to do it. Mm -hmm. So we're 30% of the way there, and today's the 26th, and the campaign ends on the 24th, which is the full 100 days. So I'm at the point where I need to be doing, on average, more than two businesses a day. but. Uh, one thing that I'm going to do to help is right now I'm the one manual, uh, manually emailing all of these businesses that my virtual assistant are getting the contact information. I'm going to write them a protocol where they go ahead and do all of the emailing as they bring it in and then any warm lead I'll be able to contact. Because right now the virtual assistant's able to work at a pace that's faster than my ability to email up all, all of them. But if I can automate that completely, then and then even if I have like a 5% closing ratio or 1% closing ratio, I'll still be able to achieve achieve my goal. Um, another thing I'm going to do, I guess this will be the first time I'm going to announce that here, is uh, I'm going to offer up one an exclusive uh, uh, in order to help, because I, I think I was a little more ambitious and uh, optimistic starting it, and my wife was like, be, you know, don't get in over your head, you know, because I, I, I need to get this done. It's like a, I can't fail. I, I committed. We've already been paid, and I want to make this happen. So I'm going to offer uh, one Dash to uh, Dash users that can help recruit businesses. Oh. That so seems smart. Decentralize it even further. Yeah, send yeah. out those mycelia spores to mm -hmm. uh, help with the effort. Yeah. All right. And I just had one final question, which was just a clarifier. When you say there are 15 signed up, um, does that mean like they have these plugins going on their websites or, or they've been listed at spend-.com, for example, or what does it mean to be signed up? Uh, most of them are listed at spend-.com. Uh, you can go to dash to adoptioncom is the website to track everything. And uh, that means that they are ready and able to accept Dash payment. Now, another thing, a big hang up is, um, and I'm completely upfront, which I would advise people to be upfront about this when you're recruiting merchants. Uh, they can't expect to have a big influx of customers that accept, that are gonna spend Dash. So one of the things that uh, is kind of something that's made it a little harder is there's not a lot of people spending Dash. And then again, we go back to the chicken and the egg. Well, there's not a lot of places to spend Dash. Obviously, the best place to spend Dash is at bravenewbookstore.com. <laughs> um, that's one of my goals with this project is to take away that argument. You know, of course, I'm not spending Dash. What am I going to buy with it? Well, here's 100 businesses that we've recruited that uh, have a wide variety of, of services. But I make it clear to the merchants that uh, many of them already accept Bitcoin, so I tell them, uh, we want you to get on, get in on the ground floor of this really exciting cryptocurrency, and I explain how Dash Digital Cash it really hopes to be the the currency uh, of the internet and the internet transactions, and and all of the benefits are there. So I'm hoping uh, as more merchants come on board, more people will be a little more loose with the spending of their Dash, and that will have a synergistic effect to take Bitcoin's position as the number one cryptocurrency. We're coming for you, Bitcoin. Well, and if it helps uh, either you or any of the mycelia spores you send out to do the recruiting, uh, I'm also more than happy to give a free shout out on Dash Detailed to any business that starts accepting Dash. So for any businesses that want that, I just need to be informed about it, basically. So just shoot me an email or a Slack message letting me know, and I will make sure it gets on a show. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for your time, John. Thank you.
If you've ever wondered how you yourself could put a proposal into Dash's treasury, check out this three-step tutorial video I made.